one hi guys how are you guys doing so i know a lot of you guys have asked for this so i'm going to show you guys how to do a continuous bladder irrigation and how to set that up so before we begin just like any procedure that we have done you want to make sure that you're identifying your physician orders you're identifying the correct patient and make sure that you're practicing the rights to medication administration because anything that you're hanging normal saline or anything like that it is going to be a medication okay so what we're going to do first is make sure that we are gathering all of the supplies that we need. The continuous bladder irrigation, it's not gonna be your typical normal 1000 cc saline bag. We're going to be using a lot bigger bag. This one comes more like in a 3000 cc, which is what most hospitals use. We're also gonna make sure that usually the patients will come from the OR with the Foley already in place, but if the Foley is not already in place, just make sure that the type of Foley that we are getting for these patients is the three-way Foley catheter. So make sure that we're getting that and we're getting the correct French. You're also going to have your Foley bag and we have some gloves, so we'll be ready to go to hang our continuous bladder irrigation, okay? So now what we're going to do is already identify my patient. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my line. Usually the lines will come separately in your central supply. It will come with a two connector. So you are able to connect two bags at a time. But of course, anytime that you're hanging those two bags, you're always going to make sure that one is running at once because you don't wanna start you know, irrigating with two bags at once, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my first bag. These ones are not brand new, they're already been used. So just bear with me, just go on a waste, so I just have the same bag. So I spike my bag, they're already here. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my second bag. Of course, it's a brand new bag. Let's say it's already in the plastic. These have already been used. I just wanna show you guys how to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and spike my second bag. Just make sure everything is clamped until I'm done setting up everything. The good thing with the CBI is I don't have to connect it to the pump. So we're just pretty much gonna use mostly just the pole because that's really what we need. So once this is all good, just wanna make sure that we're priming. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one at a time. And clamp here. There we go. I'm gonna unclamp this, now I clamp this back. Unclamp this one. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and just let it out for the rest. I'm really sorry, dude. Watch yourself. Uh, hold on. Alright. Sorry. That was a whole lot that came out. But that's okay. Usually you want to prime it nice and slow. So this is nicely primed. So now what we're going to do. Is this what already been, this is the catheter, what it looks like. It would have already been attached to the patient. So let's say this is already attached to the patient. So what I'm going to do is, this portion here is going to go to the side because typically the Foley bag is going to be attached at the center. This is for irrigation. And of course, this lumen here is always going to be to insert the fluids to help keep the catheter anchored and in place, okay? So this will all be there. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down. All right. So once this is all connected to your patient, one of the things, like I said, with, the, um, with irrigation, is that you do not want to open both at a time. When you're opening your first bag, I like to keep a measure of exactly where I'm starting because you wanna make sure that you're measuring what is coming out of your patient and also what, how much that you have that's in the bag, okay? Because you wanna be able to calculate the true urine, which is gonna be your net output, all right? So for this patient, I'm just gonna go ahead 
you're gonna unclamp and you wanna make sure that you glide this a little bit slowly in and of course it's going to just keep on irrigating the bladder and just make sure that you do not have any any blood clots or anything like that. If for any reason that you do start to see any clots or no urine is coming out, then we can do a process of manual irrigation where you do get your equipment and you get a syringe and you're able to go ahead and just manually irrigate your Foley bag, okay? And just make sure that whatever that you're putting in, of course, that you're taking out as well so you're not keeping the irrigation fluids that you use to, you know, to irrigate and to remove the clots so you're not keeping it in there, that you're clearing it out, all right? And that's it. This is how you would set up for bladder irrigation. I love you guys.